So welcome to module 4.6. In this module we will see the final the hack computer. How does the hack computer look like? It is going to be very straightforward as you see here. Uh, the hack computer basically has the data memory that you have already created. The data memory has a uh, load, uh, a out and address. Um, so the data memory basically has data plus screen plus keyboard. The output of the data memory will be fed back to the CPU. There will be a reset here. The PC will go to an inbuilt chip called ROM32K and the instruction from there will feed to the CPU. So from the CPU you will have a write M which will basically say whether I want to access memory or not. That is the load input to your data memory. Then whatever we want to access memory that out M, the address on which I want to write and the PC. The PC comes back to the ROM32K while the output of the data memory basically goes back as input from memory into the CPU and the instructions flow from the ROM32K and then there is a reset pulse uh, which uh, basically resets the CPU. So this is what we need to create here. So this is just uh, so the entire CPU that we are trying to build uh, uh, just keep this in mind. So we will just uh, we will just have this and uh, we will open up the actual project, project 5. We will open the computer, this is the HTL file and this is exactly the three lines that we need to add uh, to make this entire computer. What we have done here, we can just see there is a ROM 32K to which the input address comes from the PC and the output is the instruction. This is what exactly what we are doing in uh, ROM 32K and for the CPU, there is an input which is there is an input which is in M as you see then the instruction comes from the output of the uh, ROM that is instruction then reset comes from the input of the computer out M goes to the memory write M goes to the data memory and then the address M goes to the data memory and then the PC comes out of this. This PC is fed into the ROM32K. As you see here, the PC that is uh, for the CPU is fed back into the ROM32K. For the memory, the input is out M from the CPU and load is write M that is coming from the CPU, address is address M and out, out equal to M. So now that we have made these three modules, this is of course an inbuilt chip, the ROM the 32K, well the CPU we have done and the uh, data memory we have done. It is just a three line code to build this entire computer. Now we will just execute this compute, uh, this on the module to show that it works. We go back to the tools, we just take the hardware simulator. So we just load the computer. Now let us load some of the scripts. So there are three scripts, computer add, computer max and computer rectangle. Just for the uh, thing we will just uh, do the computer add, for, let us load script. So let us run the script at full speed. That is it. We can, we can also have this computer max, so computer add external, we can load this script also, run it. We can also have the computer max, And then the computer max external, computer rectangle,
a small rectangle should be drawn here. If we go and view the screen here, and similarly let us also see the computer. We will go to the screen here, now let us say we are drawing from this executing. So, all the three programs, one for drawing a rectangle, finding a maximum and add, all these three programs have worked. So, this is how we build the uh, computer. So, with this what we have done is we have finished the first part of building up an architecture, a machine on which we have understood the uh, uh, assembly language there, the machine language and we have made the machine understand the uh, machine language and execute and now we have built a small computer by itself. Now what we will do in the subsequent modules is to write software for this computer. So we will write an assembler, then we will write a virtual machine interpreter, then we will write a compiler, we will compile a game and run the game on this. So that is what we will be doing in the subsequent four modules, modules 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, uh, please complete till project 05 as a part of this uh, thing so that uh, your clear understanding till project 05 uh, is very important for us to uh, do the remaining projects and understanding the remaining modules in great depth. And if you have any doubts, please do post on the forum and we will answer those doubts. Uh, thank you very much.